Hey guys, I want to share with you my 100% surefire method for bleeding the fuel cooling system on your 6.4. This works every single time and it works properly. First, you're going to want to take the uh, cap off your reservoir and this little plug off of the uh, VGT cooler. Get that out of there. Next, I want to pull your intercooler out. No, I'm not joking, boys. You know where this is heading. So you got to pull your intercooler out. And you take this little guy here. This is the uh, heat exchanger that bolts up to your intercooler on the side here. And this is the heat exchanger for the fuel cooler system. So what you need to do is invert it. Easier with two hands. So I've got the hoses set up so that I can I can pull those down a bit, plug this in, and then I can just literally flip it back up and into place. The reason you have to do this is because I have never ever had any luck bleeding the air out of these when they're sitting there. So what I do is I fill these up with coolant. I take this sucker, I'm going to fill it right up with coolant. And then I'll plug it into those hoses and clamp it back on. The next thing you need to be able to do here is run your coolant pump. So that means you pull out your inner wheel well liner on your driver's side. To get at this little guy right there, it's tucked right up inside there. There's a rubber boot kind of thing there that I've got uh, it pulled out of. Handily, it tells you which side's plus and negative. I've got a little piece of cardboard there in between the two jumpers to keep them from shorting out. And that is going directly to my battery charger. Fire up the battery charger. And the pump goes. So I've got this heat exchanger basically filled up. Even though it's not that straightforward, I find you've got to fart with it a little bit. Pour, pour your coolant in nice and slow. And uh, shake it around a bunch while you're doing that. Tap it a little bit. Don't rush it. What you want is when you slosh it a bit like this, that you hear nothing. You don't want to hear any coolant sloshing around inside this thing. If you hear coolant sloshing around inside it, it means there's still air in it. Next, you want to pour coolant directly down this hose, this hose, and this hose right here. This is going to fill the fuel cooler. And these hoses here, being full, will help prime the system properly so the pump will actually do its job. Okay, now with this drain tube right here, pointed vertically, it is time to fill up the VGT cooler and the coolant reservoir. Okay, time to turn the pump on. Yeah, I've pulled the heat exchanger up. I find kind of shaking it around and so on can be helpful. But if we go up here and see that the uh, coolant level has dropped some. So you're basically just going to want to yeah, play with hoses a bit and shake that heat exchanger around and just let that coolant pump do its job. Get as much air as it can out of there then you'll be buttoning the system up. Uh, another thing that I find helps a fair bit is uh, unbolting this reservoir and just lifting it up a couple times. I find that always somehow just gets a little bit of air out of the system as well. So at this point, um, there's not much more you can do. I have the plug for that uh, VGT cooler back in. Everything's all put back together. Just got to throw the intercooler back in. Heat exchanger, put everything all back together. All done. Now, you'll want to keep tabs on this system for a little while after uh, finishing this job. 
like I say, it's possible you may have a few little air bubbles in there. So just make sure you're checking this out and also double checking for leaks and so on for the next little while. Hope this helps.